Welcome back everybody to a Dead Space playthrough. I finally got the uh, shock pads and thermite, used them, and I made a nice and glorious small little explosion, which made no real sense when it comes to thermite, but hey, we can we can finally progress now. So let's do it! Okay, you're through. Progress. You should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. And it's the psychopath. You guys don't know him yet if you haven't played this game, but you will soon. God, it's this is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting God. ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. And record him. Ah, uh, thing with the hell. Right. <laughs> I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh, uh, if you only knew. Oh, I remember when the first time I played this game. <laughs> I was always so paranoid about these freaking holes. Cause look how look how kind of far it is too. Like something big must have burrowed its way through that metal, and as metal. So anything that burrowed its way through metal, you kind of got to be a little paranoid about that. It's like, um, um, I should really get off this ship. <laughs> uh, this is not meant to, for humans to fight that. And oh, the most, one of the most infamous places in this game, because you go, you go past this little part, maybe about three or four times I'm thinking that's my my guess throughout every time I played this game is that the clinic ah oh, the clinic is so it's it's like a, it's a memorable area but a lot of people it's, it's infamous there's a reason why we use the word infamous a lot of people hate it but it's very memorable memorable and there's so many bad things that happen in here and it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, hate this area. And it's not because it's like bad in gameplay or bad in like all that stuff. Uh oh, uh oh, it's just that they throw a lot of enemies at you in this area. I hear you. Oh, I heard you. Oh, wait, wait, get back, get back, you little beast. Like right, right now they're not gonna throw a lot. Yeah, I think that's the only two that they throw at you right now. But when you put that power node in, they're gonna send a shit ton of enemies at you. And that's the that's the thing that probably bug like doesn't bug me, but <laughs> it, it's it's such stressful moments in this game where they send a lot of uh, necromorphs at you. It's like I don't know how I'm gonna kill all these guys at the same time. That's when you have to use your stasis and everything. It's like, oh yeah, I have stasis, I have telekinesis. If I'm running out of ammo, I can still pick shit up and throw them at, throw it at them. I know it doesn't do as much damage unless there's like sharp pointy things. You can kill them in one shot, which is always a good thing. You know, it's, it's always a good thing to know. And you always it's like, okay, this is what kind of made me. Uh, was like, why is there oxygen recharge <laughs> right here when I have perfectly good? Why did everything go quiet? Oh my god, that is an unsettling quiet. And you hear a whisper. That is creepy. Oh my! Whoa! This is why I hate this area. It's so. Creepy. <laughs> oh my god. This is the way they fuck with the audio is amazing. This game and this audio effects of just ambiance. This is why I love this game. It's just just the audio alone. I love it. <laughs> it was a buy for me when I saw like gameplay and all that. I don't care how it scares you. The game's awesome. It's clean. It's very... Oh, not clean, but it's uh, very uh, polished. I love it. 
Oh, do I not have to uh, worry about the waves of enemies and that? Ah, oh, I guess this is the second time we go through here. All right, cool, cool. I don't have to fight a shit ton of enemies. Or do I? All right, come out, you little bastards. Where are you? Oh, yeah. This is not good. Bring it. Bring it, you little turd. Go. Hey, 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 hey. Back it. Back it off. Back away. You. Yeah, bring out your tentacles, you little bastard. Oh, my God, you're not dead. Oof. Oh, man, that was, a, that was a near miss. All right, next. I always try and kill. Like, I always try and get at least close enough to where I can cut two legs at the same time. If you just cut just right below the crotch area, you can actually cut off two legs at once. I've learned that by well, being stupid. <laughs> but actually, yeah, I actually try and cut off two legs at once at times if I get the right angle. Anyway, um, if they're actually if they're actually facing the side, you know, like just adjacent from where I'm looking, you could probably cut off two legs with one shot if you just shoot straight at the legs. If you can't see the other leg, you are most likely can cut the other leg off as well. But yeah, it's just a little tip. Kind of shoot right below the crotch area. Before I do that, there should be another Necromorph. Ah, uh, my god. No, I remember. You, you meet another Necromorph, but then another Necromorph jumps right behind you. And... That's what I don't like, <laughs> is like when they, they purposely ambush you. It's like, oh, I hate you so much. So they force you to either run in one of the other directions, like one of their directions, so you won't get surrounded, but you might get hit too. Or, or you use stasis on one of them, and then you suppress one of them, try and cut them down, and maybe not kill them right away, but try and uh, just mo immobilize them. A demobilize, I mean, and um, then you take them out one by one. It, it just depends on your strategy. Like, watch, I'll show you. I'll do that. Yeah, take him out and then come back. That's what I kind of do when I'm surrounded. Oh my god, is it, what the hell is he doing? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 I didn't notice you. See, you would have been surrounded maybe, you probably would have like, okay, I'm going to stun him, kill that guy, and then finish him off, and you would totally didn't notice that there's another one that jumps back down and try and kill you. But they they know how to set up uh, ambushes pretty well. Freaking Necromorphs, man. Ugh. But, yeah, they, they try and like at least show sort of strategy on it. What would have benefit through this game though is if they had something like uh, Left 4 Dead type of stuff where it, there's like some type of, and it would be hard to manage especially when you're trying to manage ammo and all that, but when whenever you play this game again they would they would appear in different places, there would be different enemies at times, and that would, that would have been made the game a little bit more interesting. I was kind of hoping that someone will uh, maybe ask Valve or maybe partner with Valve or something like that and use that type of uh, I forgot what they call it like this is either called the game master or the uh, AI master or something like that I forgot what it's really called but it's that same thing to where there isn't an actual AI that sends out uh, sends out the waves of enemies depending on your situation like if, if I'm standing here right now I stand here for like another minute or two it's eventually going to send something at me so I can keep moving and say hey get off your ass and uh, progress now or else you're gonna die because if, yeah, if you're literally if you're gonna be on the ship field with necromorphs there's eventually going to be a necromorph coming around this area and it will attack you because that's really what it's trying to do is trying to dismember your body and turn you into a necromorph itself or that or just dispose of you <laughs> so I, I, I kind of wish there was something like that because it would make I would still be playing this game over and over again throughout the time if the playthroughs were actually different and I would scare a whole bunch of people Hello? 
It's like, holy Can shit, I don't know me? what's actually going to happen. My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Oh, yeah, and, um... I, I kind of remember that the guy Harris that the girl is talking about you actually see him on in the animated feature where you actually see him kill the nurse with like either like it was either a needle or some type of blunt object but yeah you, you see him and he's actually loose on board with the necro the necromorphs and uh, it's like okay you're not only worried about necromorphs but you're also worried about people and um that's one thing that they were kind of missing in uh, Dead Space, at least the games anyway, is you got to worry about people too. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping they would do that. I'm thinking that's what they're going to try and do with Dead Space 3, uh, especially in co-op. Your partner, the person that's with you, the new guy anyway, he's going through dementia as well as Isaac. I think Isaac is still going through dementia, if I'm correct, in Dead Space 3. So... Um, that's that's something that they're going to do or you literally probably have to worry about the person that's playing with you because although they might be seeing necromorphs attacking them and all that they might be trying to attack you <laughs> and then communication is probably the key and i'm wondering if uh what would be really cool is that when you're going through dementia that dementia phase and all that like they would mess with your communications on xbox live or yeah, if you are using your xbox live or pc uh, depending on where, where you're playing it it would mess with your audio when it comes to the mics too. That's a little. That's a little far away from uh, what we can do right now, or what we, what they planned on doing. That would be really cool. Is like if you're trying to yell, "Hey, stop shooting at me! You're freaking! I'm not a necromorph!" and all that. All they hear is garble from like they probably hear like a necromorph or, or like some whispers of insanity or something like that. Really cool ideas. That I would kind of hope I I wish they would do, but I know they're not gonna do that, or else they would have been. Uh, they would have been advertising that in their videos, like co-op videos, and all that, where if you're talking through a mic and all that, they hear whispers of necromorphs and all that. And it's like, that's so cool. Uh, but some type of wish. But hey, um, before I end this video, which I'm going to end it right, right now and all that other stuff, um, definitely comment below on um, what you think of the stuff I was talking about uh, just a few minutes ago. And uh, I would like to hear about your opinions on that and what you think. Um, you know, just Dead Space should kind of go along with it and maybe save its ass because I, I am actually really worried about the Dead Space franchise. It is going the action route, just like you know, it it has been already pretty actiony as you probably seen, but it's losing that ambiance and it's losing those subtle ch touches which disturbs you in such ways and messes with your mind when it comes to audio and visual visuals and i want to hear what you guys think about that so yeah definitely comment down below hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time enjoy yourself